Hey, welcome back. I thought I'd do a, a quick lasagna. Quick part is that I've actually pre-cooked the bolognese, so you might be able to see that there. That's a that's an eight and a half hour cook there. See that? Um, so it's slightly kind of creamy. I, I used uh, about around half a cup of sour cream just to kind of give it that creaminess. Right, so what I want to do is I want to get some vegetable sauce going. I've got a couple of other layers here of uh, bits that we're going to put all in the lasagna and I'll show you quickly we'll pull it all together. With this uh, vegetable sauce, you've seen me make it before, it's just a quick bit of butter in here and what we're going to do, just letting that kind of uh, heat up there and getting just with the butter uh, some flour and then we're going to break that flour down a little bit with that butter and then we're going to add some milk to that and our cheeses and a bit of garlic and we're going to get that going all there, a bit of salt and pepper as well I've got some other sauce here that I, I found recently it's called the, the Tartuffi Jimmy and what essentially it is it's a truffle and cheese kind of like a little uh, sauce you mix in with um, like a pesto, it just gives that kind of truffly taste, which I'm going to try. I haven't tried it in a, a vegetable sauce before, so we'll give that a go. So what you can see there, you can see that kind of lumpy. That's just breaking down the flour essentially. And what we want to do is just slowly, once that's kind of broken down a little bit, we're literally, I might even put a little bit more in. We're adding uh, just you know, the milk. You could use a cream. We're just making a kind of a white sauce there, not too much, because then it'll get really thick, and you just have to keep adding more and more of that uh, milk. So I, I will make a bit because I'm making quite a large uh, Easter lasagna here. Uh, so you can see that's come through. You want to really try and break. I don't know if you can see that here. If you can just go a bit closer, film crew. You want to really break this down essentially so it's not too lumpy look it's it's not critical but and slowly adding that milk to it mixing it through I like to add salt and pepper nice chunk of there is obviously there's gonna be a lot of cheese in there so the salt will a lot of the salt will come from the, the actual cheese itself you could break an egg in there so just kind of get all different flavours. I like to whack a bit of garlic in as well, just so that you could um, cut up your own garlic. This is much easier. And kind of got that garlic flavour going with that. Now, just before we add the, the cheese, I want to add more and more milk, but just slowly, okay? So you want to take the, because that's out of the fridge, that milk, so you're going to lose the heat. And so just what you're doing here is obviously mixing it through, but you're trying to break up a lot of that flour so you don't hit those lumps. And eventually it will break down. You just move it right through. Let's just do that a little bit more. And then we'll do the cheese. So lots of layers of pasta. Let's get that move around there. See that pepper? That smells good already. Right, just simple garlic. Milk. Now, I sometimes use cream as well. I was going to use sour cream, but I've already put that in the bolognese. See how that's kind of mixing through now? That and it starts to get thick and thicker. So, as it's starting to thicken, this is your chance to give uh, the milk another run. Milk run, and mixing that through because the minute we start adding the cheese, that's going to thicken right up. So, just going to that smells good. Smell that. That smells good. Okay, so just so we get all that, I might put a little bit of milk in there. The Tartuffi Jimmy truffle and cheese. It just seemed like a natural combination put with this sauce so I thought I'd give it a go you can smell that kind of truffly if you had truffle before it's quite a nice what's obviously a very strong flavour quite a nice kind of slightly different even peppery you can smell the pepper in it okay so I'm going to add the cheese in 
flip that here. And, you know, I always say don't be afraid to add lots of cheese in. I know we're putting cheese in the top, you know, the top layer of the lasagna. You know. Cheddar, put the mozzarella, parmesan on that mix. So, as I said, I'm making quite a large batch here. So, you really want to have that cheesy sauce. Beautiful. And if it starts to look too thick, again, there's the option of putting a little bit more of that. Now you may have seen me cook the vegetable sauce before with spinach. You could add in your fresh spinach with this and get that kind of green sauce, which is nice. Uh, I didn't bring that, so that's all right. There we go, beautiful. Look at that, that's exactly what you want to do, that kind of thick. Oh, that's just absolutely beautiful. So let's I'm going to turn the heat off that and just let that sit. That's exactly what we want to do. It does go a little bit harder once it cools down, so. Sometimes I find it a bit easy to actually keep it heated when you are layering up lasagna just to help with that. Look at that. Beautiful. You can see a couple of lumps here, but that's okay. They're just little, little puffs of uh, flour. All right, let's leave that and let's get this going. So this becomes layer on layer. I will drizzle a little bit of oil just on the bottom of that, just to, just so it doesn't stick. You don't want, sometimes I'll do this with a spray. That's okay. There's a little bit of oil there. And I'm just gonna do a, a layer of uh, capsicum here. Again, you don't have to, but it just gives that kind of nice flavor. And, and you'll see I've got a fairly big chunks there, which is cool as well. Okay. Oh, Items that flavour. Now I'm going to do a different layers of uh, the obviously the pasta as well. Get a couple of those things out of the way. Get a spoon for that. Get that going. Nice. Now this is, this is eight and a bit hours. In the slow cooker just overnight, let it kind of cool down and just fold. <coughs> Pardon me, just fold that through. So, you just want to do a kind of a base layer, you don't have to overdo the pattern because you've got a lot of that uh, capsicum there as well. So, just kind of keep it flat because I'm trying to do quite a bit of layers and then just layering it. So, you do this before. I'm going to show you a couple of layers and then we'll come back at the end and show you that final layer. Nice big bits of lasagna sheets. I go there. Fresh, what's the best way to do that? We might go that way. Kind of send it to work. We might need to see if I can fit three in there. One, two, one, two. Just squeezing three. I've got enough there to do heaps of my Now with the bechamel, let's just do a quick way of having a bechamel here. Just look at that, that beautiful cheesy ooze. So good. You could even put a little bit more of the milk in there, that's okay. Get that out of the way. Just kind of, oh you can smell the truffle, amazing. Just obviously you want to spread as much as you can, just to kind of get it all the way around. Maybe using another implement to help spread it. That's cool. Oh, I know it's pretty rusty, but it doesn't matter because it's literally all going to work nicely. Let's get that there. And again, you'll kind of mix the bolognese in. So 
So I'll keep going with that and we'll show you when we get to that final layer. Okay, I'll just, you don't have to do this, but I'll just put the wax some, you know, as Roma tomatoes would make sense. Roma tomatoes with an Italian lasagna. We've got that truffle cheese bechamel sauce, which gives it a really a nice nutty flavour. And some uh, Roma tomatoes just to, to top it off. I like doing kind of different little packages of or layers that you don't know what's coming up. It's pretty cool. Very nice. Um, get, get the sauce out. I think I've talked about before the idea to cook if we don't do it. Lasagna with when the um, bolognese is really dry because it becomes quite a dry flavour when you reheat it. So lots of lots of liquid. Just put some spring onions in here. I would normally have done it spinach but spring onions have a nice little flavour as well we'll just put with that tomato just a little bit there we're still going to do another layer of the bolognese and the bechamel enough to yeah, to pave it one more layer of the pasta. So you pat it down like that, give it a kind of this is full of commercial size lasagna, this one. Beautiful. Now, if you can, try and tuck the uh, the edges because they're not gonna cook properly, they'll they'll go that crisp um, pasta like that because they're burnt. Okay, last layer of the Nice. I get this one. It is absolutely uh, stains. Uh, just get the spatula, so get as much out of there as possible. And just feed that on the last bit. Now this will probably take about 45 to an hour in 180 degrees. Like it does take a while. It's pretty big. Obviously, most of it's cooked except the pasta. Um, but you want to make sure that pasta is nice. And not our dente, it needs to be soft and break away. That's what beautiful lasagnas are. Okay, so just with that, put that to the side. Oh, it tastes good. See that creamy colour? I love that. I've made one before with <clears throat> a little bit of milk, just a little bit, just to kind of take that, a little bit of the acidity of the tomato, which sometimes can happen. So you could use a baking soda, just a half a teaspoon of baking soda, or you could do a bit of milk, which I like to do because it kind of neutralises it all. Now, with our last, I'm going to clean that just for presentation, don't want to look mixed. Just to get some of the bolognese off, so when we're doing this last layer, As much as you can, kind of the edge. If you could get those corners or the edge of the pasta cover and fold it in, it's probably be better, but not critical. I want to get a bit of pepper in that tomato, it's only not ready. Never count too much, a little bit of salt. I know there's salt in that cheese. And, um, that's uh, that's centered on one of the front of the chair, it's just around the edge Just to keep it nice little. One, I said, uh, about 45 minutes to close to an hour, about 180. Um, and we'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. 